I'm Aaron Lowry, a fisheries biologist for Seattle City Light, and we are on the upper Skagit River, and we are doing Chinook salmon red surveys. Right there, you can see the, the dark shape right there in the water, so it's sort of near the edge of the red there. And so that's a Chinook salmon sitting on the red. She'll sit on that red and, and defend it until she can't, uh, until she loses energy and, and dies. Six, four, two. Two point two. We, we mark them, we measure them, and then we attempt to um, provide protection for them if, if we can. 1.3. What glaciers provide is uh, river flow during periods when there isn't a lot of rain. The other thing glaciers provide is temperature. So when we have low flows during summer, for example, stream temperatures can increase. And what happens is we, we start to affect not only the, the, the fish themselves, but it can have a negative effect on their eggs. But in rivers that are dominated or at least have a glacier component to them, we see a reduction in temperature, which is key to cold water fish like salmon. As we move forward, I mean, it's gonna be a, a pretty hard look at how we manage flows in the river with the changing climate, with a reduction in glaciers and snowpack, and how we can balance the needs of fisheries and people that live here in, in the Pacific Northwest, because you have to be pragmatic about it. People are moving to the Puget Sound constantly, and they're all gonna need electricity. 